Hey, it's Steph from Happy Place to Grow, and as you can see, I am not in my classroom. I am in my kitchen, and today I thought it would be fun since it's almost January. I thought it would be fun to invite you into my kitchen so we could do a little recipe together. Now this is actually video number two in my winter fun activities series. And so we're going to be focusing today on a really cool snowflake snack. Yeah, I said cool. It's almost January. So for this activity, you're going to be needing just a few ingredients and no, you don't need to do it in a kitchen. So if you are a classroom teacher, you can do this in your classroom. If you're a mom, you're having a sleepover, you have a Girl Scout or a Boy Scout or a Cub Scout meeting, this is a fun activity you can do with a group of children. So let's get started. You're going to need to gather a few simple and inexpensive ingredients. So let me show you what they are. You're going to be needing one bag of large marshmallows, one bag of mini marshmallows, mm, smells good, one bag of pretzel sticks. Yes, you will need pretzel sticks because, well, you'll see why in a minute. And then to top it off, you're going to need some white frosting. You'll also need to gather some plastic utensils, a knife, and a plate. That's all you're going to need for this recipe. Now, if you're a classroom teacher, I like to always get a few of the ingredients prepped and placed into a plastic bag. That way, you can just pass this all out at one time and it makes the activity go just a little bit smoother. Now, this is video number two, as I said, because in video number one, I shared with you how I like to start out my winter learning with all about snowflakes. So I love to bring to my students facts about snowflakes. I do that through a Scholastic News, which I shared with you in the first video. And I like to let them watch a few nonfiction or factual videos on how snowflakes are formed. So this activity, the second day, is always really fun because it is so tasty and delicious. And we review the facts in a fun way. I always feel like learning should be fun, serious, fun. You know, make a little learning sandwich. All right, so the first thing that I like to do is get everything prepped. I like to talk with my students about the fact that when you're doing a recipe, you need to follow the directions, you need to gather the ingredients, of course, clean up and make sure you've got prepped, everything's ready to go, and your hands are washed. There's a lot of little um, sneaky um, things that you can teach your children as you're doing a recipe. So this is what um, the snowflake snack is actually going to look like. When you prep that bag, you're gonna be putting six of everything and then one large marshmallow. Hey, and you can sneak in some math because we all know that snowflakes are hexagon shaped. So sneak in a little math too. Okay, so as you're working on this with your child or children or students, you're having them to do it with you step by step. So the first thing I like to have them do is put out that large marshmallow on their plate and it needs to be standing. The second direction, the second step that they're gonna do is the pretzel sticks. Now they have to get six in this cylinder shape, again, math, cylinder shape marshmallow. And this is a little tricky, especially for young students, young children and, um, you know, they're, fine motor skills. So they have to actually push and twist at the same time. And the first couple really, it's it turns out pretty easy, but then as you get um, five and six, it gets a little bit tricky because they have to twist and for some reason six in this cylinder shape, they kind of bump they kind of bump each other out. 
So they just go around the marshmallow. That sixth one, I the five works pretty well. The sixth one, you gotta kinda just find a little open place. And that's the one sometimes that kinda just wants to stick out. So it, it ends up looking like a spider. Then you're going to be sticking the mini marshmallows on the end of each pretzel stick. So it's gonna be looking like that. And again, have some pretzel sticks uh, handy, some spares because you know somebody's gonna break a stick. Yes, for sure. So this is what the steps look like. So with my little directions, I would be showing them the step-by-step -step and then doing it with them. I always love to do a model, so we're on this step. I got this activity, you're not gonna believe this. Well, you probably will because you know I've been teaching a really long time. 2002, I got this activity from a mailbox magazine, a kindergarten edition. All right, now, this is the step that is a little bit messy. It's definitely the sweetest part of the activity, and it's the part where kids like to sneak a little taste. So you're going to be going around, if you're a classroom teacher, you're going to go around. I used to just grab the tub and just get a large amount. They really even don't need that much. I just put it on the edge of the plate, and that way, when they're ready to frost, they just take a smidge of frosting and they're going to be coating it on those brown pretzels because you know for sure you don't want a dirty looking snowflake. And you just keep on frosting those sticks and definitely you're gonna want to take a little taste for sure, it's very tempting. And it's really fun. And again, as you know, you're walking through the steps of the snowflake snack. You can talk to your students about facts about snowflakes, how when snowflakes fall, that it's really almost impossible for two snowflakes to look alike. They can look alike, but it's not likely because they all fall so differently. <clears throat> And there it is. Super simple, definitely um, fun and easy for all students to participate in. The final thing I like to say to my students is that you need to eat and enjoy. And of course, I love to take pictures of my students eating their snowflake snack because when they take their first bite, some of the pretzel sticks fall off. It's really super fun for the kids. All right, that's it for this snowflake activity. Oh yeah, one more thing. Again, I did get this activity from the mailbox um, magazine. So it had these little mini pictures and what I did was cut them out and blow them up and I even, years later, mixed the directions up for my students. And one thing I like to pop in there is a sequencing activity where they color and then they cut and then they organize the directions into steps. What would be the first step, the second step? And then they put it on like a sentence strip. So again, even if you're doing a recipe, you can sneak in a lot of learning activities. We can do directions, ingredients, math, and then top it off with a little step-by-step -step organizing of what we had to do first to the last step. All right, well, I'm gonna close up and I'm probably going to eat and enjoy this recipe. All right, until our next 
winter learning activity video. As always, have a good one.